Tucson, Arizona is known for world-class astronomy. Conditions here are so optimal that we are considered by many as the astronomy capital of the world. Tucson is the first city in the world to institute a dark sky ordinance to limit light pollution and facilitate stargazing and create an optical condition for the surrounding observatories. When thinking about space observation in or around Tucson, the first place that comes to mind is Kitt Peak. This observatory has the largest collection of optical telescopes in the world and is coming back from near tragedy in 2022 as a hub for space enthusiasts and visitors alike. After four years of being shut down during the pandemic and a one-year closure due to wildfire, Kitt Peak is again open to the public daily and nightly. In this video, we will be touring the world-famous Kitt Peak Observatory and providing you a glimpse of what you can expect on your astronomical journey. Hey everyone, it's Kimberly, your go-to real estate agent in Tucson, Arizona, and today we are talking about one of the world's foremost astronomy research observatories. But first, smash those like and subscribe buttons to follow along with Tucson News and learn more about things to do and see and know about this city, my hometown. And when you're ready to buy or sell a Tucson home, all my contact information is in the description below each video on this channel. We have over 600 videos about Tucson and real estate on this channel, so explore the rest after this one. Comment below if you're an astronomy lover and if you've ever had the pleasure of viewing these beautiful skies from the stunning Kitt Peak. Situated about 56 miles southwest of Tucson, atop the Quinlan Mountains, established in 1958, Kitt Peak National Observatory is the home of three significant nighttime telescopes, 22 optical telescopes in total, and two radio telescopes. Telescopes at Kitt Peak have discovered methane ice on Pluto, helped confirm the existence of dark matter, discovered a minor planet in our solar system, and are currently discovering planets around other stars beyond the sun, mapping the orbits of near-Earth asteroids and probing the secrets of dark energy. The drive to the top of Kitt Peak is one of the most beautiful drives in the Tucson area, and we will post the full drive on our channel in the future. The Kitt Peak Visitor Center is open seven days a week and open from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. The Visitor Center is a lot of fun. There are some really neat things to see here, from 3D models of telescope construction to meteors you can feel with your own hands. They even had a plasma a globe that my family had a hard time resisting. Also, I'll let you in on a little secret. Kitt Peak is currently undergoing a transformation that will greatly expand the visitor center facility, and we have a sneak peek of what is to come in the future later on in this video. Currently, there are three daytime tours that you can go on to see some really amazing telescopes that are just going to blow your mind. One tour takes you to the McMath Pierce Solar Telescope, which is a remarkable feat of engineering and scientific exploration. Just until recently, this telescope held the title of the largest solar telescope on Earth. Make sure to check the small scale model out in the visitor center for perspective on how big this instrument really is. Revitalization efforts, including a $4.5 million grant in 2018, aim to enrich visitor experiences and educational programs. We got a behind the scenes look to see what they are working on. The visitor center will be housed below the telescope where the optics will be displayed in real time for the visitors to experience. We also got to see a state-of-the-art projection system where you can see many of our solar system's bodies as full-on spheres right in front of your eyes. This was mesmerizing as we got to explore the sun, moon, earth, and much more. This area isn't open quite yet, but will be in the future. Want to check out the telescope that explores stellar birth? exoplanets, nebulae, and supernovas, then book a tour for the KPNO 2.1 meter telescope. This telescope studies infrared rays to observe young stars and distant galaxies. And finally, you can check out the Big Daddy, the Mayall 4 meter telescope. This telescope currently houses a groundbreaking technology with thousands of optic fibers that are 3D mapping the nearby universe while measuring the effect of dark energy on the expansion of the universe. That's pretty intense. Most people never get to see anything like this in their lifetime, so we really recommend you check this out. After viewing the machinery, there's an observation deck where you can see for miles and miles of the beautiful surrounding Sonoran Desert. This is one of 
of the best views of Southern Arizona that you can get, maybe even the best. Those are the three daytime tours you can currently attend, but Kitt Peak is all about looking at the stars. At the time that this video was made, there were two nighttime programs. At the nightly observing program, you get to look directly through the telescopes and observe with your own eyes the likes of Saturn, Orion, and much more. At night, visitors can purchase admission to an evening telescope observing program where you can use some of the telescopes specifically set aside for the general public to look through. While they aren't as big as the multi-hundred million dollar research telescopes on the mountain, they are better suited for looking at objects in the sky optically and allow for amazing views of planets, stars, galaxies, and beautiful clouds of gas where stars are forming and exploding, known as nebulas. You start up the evening by watching the sunset over the mountains as your guide explains the precision instruments around the peak. Then you get to stargaze. It's a phenomenal experience to be inside of a telescope structure with the dome moving while the telescope precisely orients to the desired area of the sky so that you observe the various unearthly objects. You also get to learn how to read a star map and use binoculars to observe the night sky. This is a really cool skill to learn to spark interest in any future astronomer. Kitt Peak Visitor Center added an additional program for evenings when the sky isn't as clear that allows evening guests to experience hands-on science demos to get up close and personal with the observatory's extensive meteorite collection and tour some of the major research observatories on the mountain. Meanwhile, for those hardcore astronomy enthusiasts, there is an overnight telescope observing program. Make sure to plan ahead and book your tickets early if you have a specific date in mind for your visit because these overnight trips often book up months in advance. Experience the full astronomer's journey at Kitt Peak with a personalized program that lets participants become visiting astronomers using one of the four visitor center telescopes. Guests are in for a unique experience. No prior astronomy knowledge is required. Now on to the important stuff. I have some tips for visiting Kitt Peak. First of all, make sure you're prepared for the temperature. Kitt Peak is at the top of a mountain, so it is a lot colder up there than it is in Tucson and the surrounding areas. Make sure to bring several layers of clothes to be on the safe side. It can be 15 to 20 degrees cooler than in Tucson, and it can get fairly windy up there. So big coats and maybe hats and gloves will be useful depending on the time of the year. Also, keep in mind that the night tours are dark, and I mean, really dark and of course they are dark on purpose because it's important to reduce light pollution on the mountain but make sure that you are very careful when you're stepping around the paths there is a lot of walking Finally, the drive to Kitt Peak is beautiful. However, the road is a little windy. If you tend to get car sick, I suggest you take prior measures to combat this. I hope you've learned a little bit about Tucson's top astronomy destination. Kitt Peak is absolutely amazing. I am so honored that I get to live so close to it and enjoy this experience firsthand. Comment below with your favorite thing about the beautiful and fascinating Kitt Peak Observatory. If you're interested in buying or selling a home here in Tucson, Arizona, I'd love to help you out. All my contact information is in the description below each video on this channel. There are hundreds of other videos on the channel about things to do and see and know about this city, my hometown, so make sure you're exploring the rest of this channel. I'd like to give a special thank you to Peter McMahon for inviting us to tour Kit Peak with him, and I also want to add that the knowledgeable staff and telescope operators were a wealth of information, humorous, and genuinely and truly love their jobs, and visibly enjoy teaching others about this stunning place. This is truly a magical experience and I hope everyone gets the chance to experience Kitt Peak in their lifetimes. We are so happy that after a couple of years of being closed off to the public, one of the world's astronomical gems is back on the scene and open for visitors. Please consider showing this channel some love by liking and subscribing on your way out the door. I really appreciate you hanging out with me today. I hope you learned a little something today and I will see you in the next Tucson video.